Welcome to the Game Changer 00100 pre-record show. I'm your host, Game Changer. Okay, what you see on the screen is a list. It's a list of places where you don't take people on the first date. It also really is a highlight of how stupid some women are. And before you get into it, I'm not talking about the women who made the list. You see, the women who made the list are smart. And the reason why they're smart is because this list is not for me. I repeat, this list is not for me. And I'm not talking about individually. This list is not for men. Who is this list for you as? This list is for more attractive women than the women who wrote the list. I repeat, this list is for more attractive women than the women who wrote the list. For example, say you have a woman that looks like Nettie from Color Purple. And I'm not talking about Whoopi Goldberg. I'm talking about the, 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 the girl Nettie grew up to be a woman who I'm pretty sure is somewhere on par with Whoopi Goldberg, right? And then say you have a woman who, and I don't know, let's just call her C. Well, no, let's just call her Chloe. Let's, let, okay. Because I'm losing in this analogy. So let me just do this. Say you have an unattractive woman. And we'll call her Nellie for the sake of this conversation. Let's leave that extra out of this. We don't know what she grew up to look like. And then let's just say you have an attractive woman. And let's call her Seely. Wait, wait. No, Seely was the unattractive one. Okay. Scratch that. Unattractive woman named Seely, attractive woman named Nettie, right? Now, Seely tells Nettie, you should not mess with a guy that take you to Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, Chili's, Chipotle, Olive Garden, the movies, your house, any fast food, Buffalo Wings, uh, Wingstop, uh, Red Lobster, um, a buffet, IHOP, Denny's, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You shouldn't mess with a dude that take you to these places. That's what Seeley tells Nettie, right? So a guy sees Seeley and he sees Nettie together. And he walks up to Nettie and he says, Nettie, I would like to take you to the movies. And Nettie looks at this list and says, oh, yeah, I don't I don't I don't do movie dates. I am above movie dates. And then she walks away. And then Seeley steps up from behind. Seely steps up from behind and she says, you know something? Have you seen the latest such and such movie? Because I really like the Equalizer 3 or whatever like action movie that men like. Like, I really like Equalizer 3. I really hope somebody like you would take me to see Equalizer 3. Or I really hope that somebody, let's see... Have you seen the latest sporting event? Have you seen the latest Raiders game? Have you seen the latest Niners game? That's what they're going to say. That's what Seeley's going to say. Seeley has tricked Nettie out of her rightful place on my penis. And she's trying to take her wrongful place on it. This is a trick. So once again, this isn't an attack of the intelligence of the Seelys out there. This is an attack on the intelligence of the Netties, the Netties out there. Attractive women. Lesser attractive women are not on your side ever. They're not your friend. They don't love you. They're not your sister. They are not. They hate you. Everything they do is to get the privileges that you were born with. It's to separate you from those privileges 
and give it to her lesser attractive self. And the problem with that is, and the reason why I step into stuff like this is because my penis is part of those privileges. That is the th that is what they are really trying to do. These chicks talking about, oh, I don't go to, you know, you shouldn't go to this, this, and this. Do not let these chicks tell you anything. That's like me, right? That's like me. And now, um, I know y'all can't see me, but let's just say that I am more attractive than Lil Wayne and less attractive than Boris Kocha, right? And um, and Idris Elba and people like that, right? So let's just say, like, I'm kicking it with Idris Elba. And, and you know, and, and Boris Kojo. Women don't see them or they don't see me. They only see them, right? So I tell them with my lesser attractive self, I tell them like, hey, you should not do this, this, and this when dealing with these broads. You shouldn't even take a chick on a date. You should just take them straight, straight to the house and push their head down. And then I come up and I do the exact opposite of the advice I gave them. Now, of course, in real life, men don't typically operate that um, that way unless they're desperate. Even if they have like, you know, um, Boris Kojo slash Eve yourself with type friends. Um, for one, because most regular guys, and I know there's a lot of irregular guys out there, but most regular guys don't operate like that. But and also. Idris and Boris is not going to fall for no crap like that. So, yeah, they're not stupid. They know what they want, and they, they're not going to listen to distractors on how to get it. However, attractive women, particularly attractive Black women, by and large, are that stupid. And the reason why they're that stupid is because they have a yearning for sisterhood that's stronger than any other group. This whole, you know, clits before, you know what, is stronger amongst them than any other woman. Perhaps it's, you know, decades of past suffering, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it is stronger. And they do have a stronger need to fit in with lesser attractive women. That is not necessarily true anywhere else. Or I should say it's not as strong anywhere else. Because, you know, like you can have like a group of four um, sex in the city chicks. But once that dude comes. Chicks broke off and got married from the group. But on the last episode of Living Single, they all were still leaving single except for that one chick. That is how that works. It's too strong. It's too strong. Oh, and by the way, living single isn't the, I, I should do a separate video on that because it's always like these shows with four chicks and they're, they're out just going from penis to penis and every dude that they come across every week just so happens to be like a, 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 a Chippendale dancer looking doctor or some chick, but you know, they, 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 drop him because his shoes don't match and then the next week it's a new one like yeah okay anyway the point is is that the lesser attractive women are setting you up for failure don't believe me and this is to the ladies but the fellas could do this experiment too ladies go to a place here go to Cheesecake Factory, go to Chili's, go to Chipotle, go to Olive Garden, go to the movies. And you want to know what you will see there? You will see women there with who are less pretty than you are pretty with men 
who are more handsome than you are pretty. With the men that you should be with. You see, the black community is bizarro. It's backwards. And here's what I mean by that. In the black community, and y'all women notice, ugly chicks marry first. Oh, there it is. There it is. I know I wasn't supposed to say that. I know that y'all didn't want to hear that. But that's why you have pageant winners like, you know, um, Ebony K. Williams and stuff, you know, um, uh, turn 40 and about to unthaw an egg. Ugly, but you got the ugly chicks walking around with the ring. In the black community, ugly women marry first. That's not an accident. It's because in the black community, the more attractive women are following the advice from their lessers and they are leading them astray. A lesser attractive woman said to Ebony K. Williams, you shouldn't be marrying no bus driver. You're a bus driver. You shouldn't be marrying no bus driver. You're a bus driver. Don't marry this guy. Don't marry this guy. Don't marry that guy. Oh, no, I wouldn't marry. And then what do they do? Marry the guy that they tell her not to marry. You're stupid. That is the end result of stupidity. And now look at you. Buying, unthawing your eggs out the back of an ice cream truck. Trying to inseminate it with some back alley sperm that probably came from a bus driver. That is your life now. This is a trap. Where can you go? Where can the people, um, what's not on this list? I think besides the sporting event, and let me see, a bar. I think I took chicks to like, oh, and family functions. No, I took chicks to family functions. Yeah, so yeah, I think that, not on the first date though. So yeah, in a gym, because I don't think that that's appropriate. But anyway. Most of these places, I don't take chicks. You are out your ever-loving mind. Now, let me see how much time I got. See how much time I got. I don't care. That's how much time I got. I got I don't care minutes. Now, I'm going to talk about white women. I'm going to take this time aside to talk about white women. want y'all as another experiment, but it's really the same one because it's just the same field trip. I want y'all to go to these places and I want y'all to see the number of white women at these establishments, at the Cheesecake Factory, at Wingstop, at Buffalo Wild Wings, at, at um, any fast food with their boyfriend, fiance, husbands. with their dates. I want y'all to see all of them and then see if their dates is black. If their date is a Negro, I want y'all to see that. They have set you up for failure. This list is another example of how they set you up for failure. And you attractive women, y'all buy into it. And the reason why, besides stupidity, let's be clear. 
The reason why is because, for one, they've been doing this so long, where where the the lesser attractive woman marries first. They've been doing this so long that you think that they have a bright idea. You think that they know something about the game that you don't know. But all they know is how to sabotage you. But you listen to them. And also, you have a difficult decision, um, a more difficult decision than they do. Why? Because they have fewer options, meaning that they have fewer choices. Well, actually, those are the same thing. But they have fewer things to choose from. You see, they have to pick a needle out of a smaller haystack than you because fewer people want them. Attractive women have a much larger haystack. And they still have one needle that they have to pick. So you're asking a woman with a short haystack how to sort through a large haystack where you should not. Where you should not. Quite frankly, I don't know who to ask. But I will tell you this. You are going on the date to get to know the person. It really doesn't matter where he takes you. It really doesn't matter if he takes you to coffee or, you know, depending on the time of year. I like to do Starbucks. It really doesn't matter where he takes you to the ice cream place or something like that. What matters is the content of the person's character. And I'm not talking about get with a broke dude. And that's another, that's a whole nother video. I'm not talking about get with a broke dude because these chicks only understand absolutes. See, these are the type of chicks that don't understand the color purple outside the movie, the color purple. They don't understand regular stuff. I don't know what purple is. I mean, it's not blue or red. So according to them, you either, um, and by them, I mean Chrissy. Um, you know, if we say you shouldn't date a dude for money, then that means you you must date like an absolutely broke dude. And if somebody say you shouldn't date a broke dude, you should just go on full on sugar baby gold digger. They only understand absolute. It's either red or blue. blue. There's no purple. It's either yellow or blue. There's no, there's no green. There's no orange. There, there isn't like all of the in-between colors that exist in the world to these dumb brats. Okay, so let me break that down to you. The money is to provide to the family, not luxury goods to the woman. A woman with the mindset that the money that is accrued from her sexual uh, nature is to support the woman's luxury spending is a gold digger. It is a subset of prostitution. Doesn't mean that you get with a dude who cannot support himself in a family. It means that you get with a dude with the idea of supporting a family in mind. Without understanding of that nuance, you're stupid. Just like that barking dog, you're stupid. Anyway, back to the list. <sighs> These are perfectly reasonable places. Even the fast food place. To take a person. Because it's not about the place. It's about the person. And if y'all go around, and I'm talking, see, here's the thing. I'm talking to you greater attractive women. I don't care what the lesser attractive women are doing. I'm talking to you greater attractive women. If y'all are walking around 
See, here's the, re here's the reason why I'm talking to the greater attractive ones and not the lesser attractive ones, because it's easier to say no to they stupid. It, if they say, you know, oh, yeah, I don't do um, wing stop. Like, I don't do wing stop. If they say something like that, then, you know, uh, my response is, you know, OK. That is the line. That is the line. You are just hot enough to uh, for me to take you out. But you are not hot enough for me to splurge on you. And that is the plight of the medium attractive women. I am willing to hook up with you um, as long as it's as little as resistance possible. Now, they don't want to know that that is how we feel about them. So they try to test it and see, you know, that, okay, I'm, I am worth more than minimal effort to him. Let me see that. But the fact of the matter is you're not. Now, a greater attractive woman may be worth a little bit more. She may be worth, you know, the extravagance, the more extravagant places. But I would still ask, um, I would still offer to take her to the Cheesecake Factory, just the same. And if she, if she says she's not interested in that place, then at that point, it really don't matter how attractive she is because I'm not going to hit it. She is not going to give me any boot, booty, 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 boot, booty. I am not going to get it at that point. Now, this part is for the fellas. Why aren't you going to get it for that point? Because she just manipulated and maneuvered your ass. And once you have established that you are that dude to be manipulated, she is going to continue to do so. And also, she's more, or excuse me, you're more vested than she is at that point. Meaning that if she leaves at any point after you made the large investment, then you would be the one with a larger loss. And she knows that which puts her in a position of power. And the fact that she seeks that power means that it's not going to happen because she is she's a box leverager. And you don't want to deal with box leveragers. You don't. I'll do a whole separate video on why not to deal with box leveragers, but you don't want to deal with a box leverager. So at that point, it's like, okay, you know, um, I could take her to an expensive, extravagant place. But because she suggested it, it's over. It's done. It's 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 one and done. Anyway, I'd like to give a special thanks to my members for supporting the channel. I'd like to thank everybody who's listening. Make sure you hit that like button on your way out. This is Game Changer 00100. Game over. Peace.